interesting how many people tell themselves they're bad with numbers or my favorite one is I don't do numbers. And my question is, well, if you want to live a financially free life, you've got to know a few key numbers, not all numbers, but a few key ones. And today I'm going to share with you three critical ones that are easy to master. And if you can get your focus around those, which is not that difficult, it's going to literally change the trajectory of your life your money, and ultimately your business if you have one. So stay tuned. So hi and welcome. I'm Annette Bau, host of The Millionaire Insider. For over 30 years, I have been advising and researching the top 1% and 2% of millionaires to learn what millionaires with amazing lives do differently. And now I'm providing you practical, easy to implement insights so you can take your business, your life, and your money to the next level. So today we're diving into three money numbers you need to know. So you're going to love the episode. So please click subscribe and ring the bell. For today's episode, I want you to download the Affluent Master Budget. You can go to millionaireseries.com forward slash AMB. But the master budget is going to help you with one of the most critical financial statements, specifically your P&L, your profit and loss, what your cash flow, what's coming in, what's going out. And this is an absolute critical one. You know, it's something that if you master this, it's going to make everything else so much easier. So again, millionaireseries.com forward slash AMB to access the affluent master budget. All materials and intellectual property are copywritten by themillionaireseries.com. The information we provide is not intended to replace any advisor or specialist or provide investment, financial, tax, retirement, or any planning or health care advice. All participants agree to hold millionaireseries.com and its affiliates harmless for results achieved or not achieved, and all international copyrights are reserved. For today's show notes, go to millionaireseries.com forward slash 178. For all show notes, go to millionaireseries.com forward slash WLI. So let's dive into three money numbers you need to know. The first thing you got to know is your P&L statement. So P&L stands for profit and loss, and it's basically showing you what's coming in, income from any source. I don't care where it comes from. Even if you get a gift, I want that included in the money that's coming in so you can keep track of it. If you earn wages, if you have a business and you pay yourself a salary or you get a distribution, all of that comes in. That's the plus number. And then what goes out? Where are your expenses? Start with your personal, which may include a mortgage, utilities, a car payment. I mean, hopefully you're getting debt free, but until you're debt free, you're going to have those expenses. Other expenses would include food. Maybe you have a vacation fund. You've got an entertainment fund. Anything that you're spending money on or that you have money that you're earmarking each month for should go in the expense column. And then you know what is your bottom line, how much comes in each month and how much are you spending and what is your net. It's so, so important. I recommend then that you just view this monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, and then annually. And just know where you are. Now, if you really have problems with spending, like you're a spendthrift, don't beat yourself up. Just start monitoring it daily, what's coming in and what's going out. And if you say, for instance, get paid every two weeks, then you take the two weeks, the number of days, divide that out. That tells you how much money is coming in each day. And then you monitor what you're spending each day. It's really an eye opener. I know it's been for my son who's in college. And I said, you're really kind of overspending on your budget. And when he started calculating the rate he's spending at, he's only going to have about $10 a day to spend. He's like, that's not very much money. I go, it's not. So you're going to have to start figuring out where you're spending your money and what are you going to do over break to earn some money. So you got to be aware of that. But knowing your P&L for your business and for your personal life is absolutely critical. And it's something a lot of people don't know, but it's easy to incorporate. And once you start focusing on it, you make it a priority, it becomes really easy. The next thing is your balance sheet. Now your balance sheet is your assets. That's what you own. And then your liabilities, that's what you owe. And I recommend that you watch these at least on an annual basis. Some people may want to watch them more frequently. As some of you know, you know, I just finally did my balance sheet recently. I haven't done it in a while. And I was just amazed that I hit my net worth goal. I should be doing that every year, just like you should. So there's no excuse. And so that's something that I'm going to make a priority. You know, you get so busy helping clients that you don't watch yourself, but it's something we all should know. Where are we from a standpoint of net worth? 
Now, assets would include what is the value of your home, and then the liability is do you owe money on it? What is the value of your car, and do you owe any money on it? What is the value of your 401k, of your IRA, of your personal investment account, of your checking account, anything that is a positive, an asset, you include on the asset column, and then anything that you owe is a negative. You take your assets, less your liabilities, and you get your net worth. Again, I want you doing it, this at least annually. Some people do it a lot more frequently. For me to do mine monthly would be a full-time job just because of all the assets. The more assets you get, the more challenging it is. But one thing I will also tell you that's really important about a balance sheet, I have had at least three, if not four clients who, because we had a balance sheet, they actually saved houses that were gonna go into foreclosure, meaning they own the home, but because it wasn't top of mind, they weren't paying the taxes. Because see, once you own your property, it's not taken out every month. You pay your taxes, you can either pay them once a year or twice a year, and you have to pay them and you're responsible for it. Well, they had moved. In all of these cases, they had moved and they were not paying the taxes. And because we did a balance sheet, they caught it. And I, I think out of all the people I've worked with, I've worked with a lot, but three or four people, that's a lot. And can you imagine if you have a two or three or $400,000 home and you're not paying the taxes and so somebody goes and buys it at the foreclosure and you lose it? I mean, that is just crazy. So don't let that be you. Right now, it may seem like, well, this isn't really a big deal. As you start accumulating more assets, it will become a big deal. Do you know 10 years ago, there was $7 trillion unclaimed assets that no one knew existed. And it's because of this, because people don't do balance sheets and then they don't know all their assets. Something happens to them. Their heirs have no way of knowing. So don't let that be you. Make sure you're doing at least an annual balance sheet. The next thing you've got to know is you got to know your business numbers. If you have a business, what is the cost to acquire a client? So let's just say the average cost to acquire a client is $15 per lead. All right. And you know, the average sale you make is 1500. All right. That's valuable information. That's going to tell you that you're basically earning a hundred times the cost. Now, possibly it's $150 average as far as a cost per lead and your average sales 1500. That'd be 10 times. You got to know those numbers. If the number is say for instance, a thousand and you only make 1500, that's a lot less. So you got to be aware of that. The other thing you got to know is you got to know what is the lifetime value of this client. And what you find a lot of people, you know, they get a client and then they sell them one thing and then they on to the next. You want to keep that client, nurture them, take care of them. And I always recommend going deep versus just going really wide because you can go deep. It's a lot easier. And then you don't always have the acquisition cost. So again, be really aware of that. Now, a lot of us have watched the shark tank and one of the, my favorite parts of that show is Kevin O'Leary. He always like, you must know your numbers. What are your numbers? He wants to know numbers. Why? Because he knows if a person doesn't know their numbers, they're probably not a good investment, right? You know, you get these people up there that have no idea what their numbers are. They have no idea what it costs to acquire a lead or what their average sale is. And you're thinking I would never invest in them. So again, we got to be aware of it and it's not that difficult. And it's something we all need to know. Now, some of us don't have a high cost per lead, meaning because we do more warm, organic type of nurturing, cultivating, that's fine, but you still need to know your numbers and make it fun, make it a game. It doesn't have to be difficult. Somewhere along the line, somebody either told you it was hard, told you you were bad with numbers, told you you don't do numbers, where that came from is beyond my comprehension. We just need to rewire that belief. And it takes 66 days on average, 18 to 254 to change a belief or a neural pathway. So just start, start today. And before you know it, you'll have replaced that crazy belief with one that's serving you. Now, if you want more results in your life, you can go to millionaireseries.com forward slash RFT and access our results formula template. But this results template really walks you step by step on how to get results. Let's face it, my friends, I don't care whether it's your business, your life or your money, you've got to learn how to get results, how to attract and manifest, how to remove money blocks. This guide is going to help you. It's a key in really achieving what you want. So again, millionaireseries.com forward slash RFT. 
So please click subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of all episodes. For today's show notes, go to millionaireseries.com forward slash 178. For all show notes, go to millionaireseries.com forward slash WLI. So tips for today, make financial statements a game so it's fun. You enjoy it. You can do it with friends. Delegate, but don't abdicate. I have seen so many people get in serious trouble. I was at the National Speakers Association and three different speakers shared at different times how they almost went bankrupt because they had employees stealing from them. Okay, don't let that be you. You can delegate, don't abdicate. And I delegate some of my financial stuff, but some of the stuff I do. And there's just some of the stuff I do not want somebody else dealing with. And what I found when I had somebody, because I used to delegate all of it, I was spending more time than when I do certain elements myself. So again, you got to figure out what that mix is, but I don't mind doing financials and it's eye opening. And a lot of times I catch things that either fraudulent charges or things that we didn't charge that somebody I delegated to would never know. So again, just be aware of that. You got to get in the driver's seat of your financials. And the more you can tell yourself and create a story that it's fun, it's easy, it's important, the easier it's going to be. And then make money a priority in your life. No, it doesn't need to be the end all be all, but it doesn't need to be a priority. If you want to ever become financially free or you want to retire, you got to at least know the basic numbers. I shared three simple money numbers. They're not that difficult. Anyone can do them, but you just got to do them. So I want to thank you so much for joining me for three money numbers you need to know. I'm Annette Bao, host of The Millionaire Insider. All international copyrights are reserved. Wasn't that easy? Profit and loss, balance sheet, and your business numbers. Not complicated. There's no excuse. If I can do it, you can do it. Because I'm not any better or any worse at numbers than you. It's just a matter of doing it, making it a priority, making it a habit. And before you know it, you'll be like, oh, this is so easy. I can't believe I didn't do it before. And then what you'll love is when you start seeing your net worth grow, your income grow. It's amazing. So I'll look so forward to seeing you on our next episode. Bye for now.